Okay, so I've got a VMware here, and we're going to revisit an old, old project that we did uh, before. Um, I think it's Rad Studio 2, uh, but we're going to use Delphi. Um, this is Rad Studio 11, so a lot of updates have happened, and we're just going to go over some of the changes. So we're going to go to File New, and you can see that we can create the old VCL application. That's a 32-bit application. Or we can create a multi-device multi -device application, and we can use Delphi, or we can use C++ Builder. We're going to come back to C++. We're going to start out with Delphi. So multi-device is Windows 32-bit, 64-bit, um, Mac OS and 64-bit and it also supports the m1 uh, processors so that's actually pretty cutting edge so this has only been out a year and i've got my resolution pretty small but you can see we have a form on here and the style that we can select windows or mac os um, but like what we did before we're going to do a simple hello world application and to do that, um, we're going to need a button. So T button. T is the object. Um, we're going to need a label and an edit box. So here is a label. And for some reason, these don't seem to be in alphabetical order. Yeah, here's, a, here's the added box. So what we want to do is we're going to type some text in the edit box, click on the button, and have that text from the edit box show up in the label, right? So uh, there's a code view here. This is all the code that has been written so far. There's a design view. You can flip back and forth. What happens is if you double click button, it will create the code for an event on click. And you can see that click right here. And we can begin and end our code. Now, again, what we want to do is we want to take um, text from the edit field and put it in the label when something somebody clicks button one so if we go over here to object inspector we're going to click on edit for the edit field and we can scroll scroll down and see what attributes it has and uh you know some of these used to be text some of them are caption this is still text so what we're going to do is we're gonna, and let's look at the label real quick as well. Let's see if it's caption or text. I didn't mean to cl click on that, but let's see. Label, label is text as well. Let's go back to design, click on the button. So we're gonna do, you can see the name here is label one. So we'll do label one dot, since that's an object. And the attribute we want to access is text. And since this is Delphi, it's Pascal. So we're going to do an assignment. We do a colon equal. And then we're going to say edit dot one. Group edit one dot text. And we're going to finish that off with a semicolon. Now, what you can see here is you can run this on Windows 32-bit, 64-bit, um, Mac 64-bit, and like I said, Mac, this is the M1 chip. So again, this is pretty cutting, cutting edge. And if you want to run it on the Macs, it would need to actually run on the Mac. So you set up a network connection. This will deploy the code to the Mac, and it will execute on the Mac. But for now, we're just going to do, we'll do Windows 64-bit. And to get this to run, we're just going to hit play. 
it'll compile it for us on the fly. We have our form. We're going to type hello world. Hit the button. Let's see if this works. There we go. So not there's there's been a lot of changes in uh, Delphi from XE2 to 11. Um, you can see it supports a lot more OSs and different CPU types, and it also supports um, mobile as well. So they've put a ton of work into it, but kind of the basics of it are essentially the same. So I just wanted to run this by you and give you a quick update. So thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.